みなさん、こんにちは。ひげなしさんです。今回は、マクシマムザホームの、ブイキーカイスーリアクションをします。It was very difficult for me to find this video because it's not on YouTube, but I found it. <laughs> And with that being said, I'm very excited to check out some more Maximum the Hormone channel. Let's go. Oh, this is the one I like. 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 Oh, this is Such a grungy rim. Nice boss. That tasty face. Beastly song. <laughs> That's such a mean riff, too. Or by Kutsu. Alright. And what a beastly song that was. Absolutely loved it. That riff. The melodies. I really enjoyed the chorus in this one. I believe that was the chorus. She sang that song. Nice. I really enjoyed that chorus. Very catchy. But, I mean, the bass, the bass. Oh, the bass was so strong in this one. I loved it. But before I talk about the song, Kashi, Mi Masho. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to find any lyrics translated to English online. So the video had 
English lyrics already in it, so I had to go back and kind of check every single lyric line uh, manually. But um, you know, when it comes to Maximum the Hormones lyrics, it's a little bit difficult to kind of understand what they are talking about. But I think with this one, I think there's something in particular. I mean, they keep saying bringing someone back to life, and then in regards to the video, there was a casket involved and they were burying somebody, so probably they're trying to bring someone back to life and there's some kind of trouble going on. But it's, it was a little difficult for me to kind of understand what exactly the, the real meaning behind the song. But let's move on and talk about the instruments. The guitars, basically, I love the riffs. The riffs were so grungy, very powerful. I mean, they, they were just like top-notch metal riffs right there. And then the bass, the bass was also very strong. I really like the parts where the bass was kind of just by himself. I think it was after the chorus, there were some parts, I don't remember specifically where, but there were parts where the bass was kind of making an opening. Was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. That was just awesome. I love whenever they put the bass like that. And the drummer as well, I mean, she's a beast. Like the rhythms and the way she's able to change rhythms all of a sudden as well. And then also singing as well. She sang that chorus so perfectly. That was extremely catchy. I've, I, of course, enjoy my screaming and that blah, 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 but, you know, hearing her sing, that was really catchy, really nice to listen to. And the vocals, I mean, the vocals, you know. I really like how they have two, like, screaming vocalists because, you know, sometimes it could be a little bit more fun hearing two different kinds of screams. The, I guess, the main vocalist, the one that's not playing the guitar, he has a more kind of, like, lower kind of scream and then the when that plays the guitar he has a more kind of grungy scream so I really like the differences there and then the drummer as well singing those kind of clean parts I, I really like that combination it just kind of gives them a different kind of feeling because usually when I listen to metal music it's just one person screaming sometimes they have like a backup screamer but they don't do it as often as like they do it in maximum the hormones so I really like that but the song was just fire Basically, I love all the riffs, the changes in the song as well, having that nice catchy chorus.